Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I will share an interesting technique to enhance skin colors in bright images. Let's have a look at the current image. It is a bit overexposed and the warm skin colors are not really showing up. So let's apply this unique technique. First, I will start by duplicating the image. Next, I'm going to add a selective color adjustment. In the selective color adjustment, we are going to reduce the reds, increase the yellows, and with the neutrals, slide all the sliders to the max values. Finally, on the black color, we're going to lower this to minus 100%. Perfect. As you see, this kind of selected all the skin color. Next, I'm going to change the blend mode of this level adjustment to exclusion. By applying the exclusion blend mode to the levels adjustment we just created, the skin areas are inverted without affecting the other areas. Interesting, isn't it? Now, I'm going to apply an invert adjustment on top of it. This will get back the adjusted skin colors and make the rest of the image black and dark which is exactly what is needed to blend in the adjusted skin colors in a minute. Excellent. I'm going to add a curves layer, which we will use later. With the curves adjustment, we will be able to control the brightness of the image later on. Now it's time to group all the layers we added. Once I have my group, I'm going to set the blend mode of it to color burn and adjust the blend range, so it will mainly affect the highlights. The effect of the color burn blend mode is way too much, but if we lower the opacity to around 50%, we get a very nice effect where the skin colors are enhanced. Let's have a look at the before, and notice now how flat the original image looked. By applying this technique, we get a much richer image, especially on the skin area. Because of the color burn blend mode, which is part of the darken blend mode group, the image in most cases will become darker. But with the help of the curves layer we added earlier, we can correct this. Let me adjust and experiment with it. I think this is about right. Now you can also apply a mask to the group if you don't want it to apply to the whole image. So I'm going to add a mask and then invert this mask with command I while the mask is selected. With a white brush, I can paint back in the effect, but let me first make sure my flow is at 100%. Otherwise, it will take a lot of brush strokes to see the effect. Perfect. For the areas that the effect doesn't need to be that strong, I can use a grayish color. Excellent, not bad at all. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, this method works very well for bright images, so keep that in mind. I also have created a macro to allow you to easily apply this effect. A link will be in the description. Just select the image layer and apply the macro by double-clicking on it from your library panel. The macro will repeat the steps I showed earlier and group them with the color blend mode and the blend ranges applied to it. Pretty cool, isn't it? Let's quickly look at some other images by applying the macro to them, which makes it very easy to apply the effect. Awesome! As you see, it works quite well. Here is a cool trick which you can use on darker images. After applying the macro or the steps, instead of using a color burn blend mode for the group, we can apply a divide blend mode. This will brighten up the highlights, but the effect could be too strong with 50% opacity, so probably we need to dim it down to around 20%. While we're at it, here is another cool trick. I will first set the group opacity back to around 50% and then change the blend mode of the curves layer in the group to exclusion. After this change, we need to change the blend mode of the group to color dodge 
and if needed, lower the opacity. Pretty awesome. We have given a bit more shine to the skin areas. As you see, using this technique, we can apply various types of effects, which mainly targets the skin areas. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more interesting Affinity Photo tutorials. Thanks very much for watching. Keep safe and keep being creative. Until the next video.